uh, this felt very deja vu to uh, 2023. Three seed, 9.05 start. I know we got a little delayed till 9.12 somehow. Um, but you're playing App, who's just, man, they've done such a great job. Uh, Kermit and his crew, they have great players. Their offense is terrifying. I wish C.J. Boyd would graduate uh, sooner rather than later. But uh, you knew it was going to be a battle. Uh, Coach Wolgamont really challenged the hitters prior to the fifth inning. Uh, Brooks, you know, who obviously is, uh, is a superstar, responded with the home run to right center. Uh, and then off, the rest of the offense uh, just, you know, got to work. And we had that big sixth spot there. And, and then, you know, Stu had done his job in the fourth, fifth, and Ross took the baton. And then he had that emotional eighth inning where, you know, we created some chaos. He made some quality pitches. Uh, Gilbert made a good play on him, actually a bad hop, even though the ball wasn't necessarily, you know, touched down that line uh, against Tolly. And then, uh, you know, Dill came in there and, and was pretty nasty. And uh, therefore, we get to sit here with a dub. So good day for the Trojans, but uh, a lot of work left to do. Questions from the board. Yeah, uh, Craig Stevenson, AL.com. Uh, Brooks, just the way their pitcher had been kind of mowing you guys down the first four innings, what's the approach going into the fourth and what was different that inning? Oh, I had to make an adjustment. I feel like I was kind of getting back a little late, and I was like, let me get my hands back and kind of catch one out front. And I knew when he threw that curveball the first pitch, and it really wasn't close. And I was like, he's probably going to come back with a heater because, I mean, he's been successful. He was a good. He was really good. I was like, let me just get my head out and kind of cheat the fastball here, and that's what I got, and I did some damage. Uh, Logan, the, the uh, at-bat, I guess, in the bottom of the eighth when Tolly came up, one of the best hitters in the league, just what's going through your mind at that point? Yeah, you know, just – Whatever pitch is called, you know, just being able, being able to execute. You know, um, if, if I'm able to execute any pitch that I have, I, I trust all my stuff, and I know he does too. So just executing there, and I, I know there would be no problem. Davis Baker, WSFA. Um, so what was it about that fifth inning? Obviously, you know, it, it was, you know, the home run at first, but then it really snowballed into you know, a huge inning that ended up on you guys' thing. Brooks, I'll let you have that. Oh, uh, well, it's just one of them things, kind of like baseball. Like, you get momentum and everything gets rolling. The fans get behind you because we're close to home, so all the fans get behind us. It gets loud. Our hitters get more locked in. I mean, I felt like when we got something started, the momentum just kept rolling. What was it like to play so close to home, especially having the 9 a.m. game, but still having that, that fan score here? It's for anyone. I mean, it's, uh, it's the beauty of having it here. I think this is the best place for the tournament anyways. Uh, I know it's easy to have a partial vote when you're less than an hour away, as we are with Troy University. But that being said, this is probably the best location. It's an amazing hotel setup. We can walk. There's you know, people from the 10 different schools you know, meandering around the streets yesterday, which I, I think is what you want to feel with a conference tournament. So this thing doesn't need to move anywhere. Um, but, yeah, I, I like when there's Trojan fans. Uh, we're, we're partial. If we could get 10,000 of them in here, uh, we'd talk to a fire marshal and let them do it. So uh, it's great. It does provide juice. I thought the place had a great buzz there in the fifth inning. Um, and hopefully we can have some more buzz as we go throughout the duration of this tournament. Julian Rickenbaugh, WAKA. Um, Brooks, you know, just hearing the crowd, like, clapping every time when you're about to come up, how much adrenaline does that give you? Uh, I mean, it kind of gets me going. Like, I mean, I knew that song was kind of like, it was a March Madness song from last year at Kansas State. It was kind of like, their vibe, and I mean, I didn't really know that was what's going to happen when I picked this my walk-up song at the beginning of the year, but I mean, it's kind of just been a, a thing, but it definitely gets me going. I love it. Yeah, it's worked out. I mean, third most <laughs> RBIs in the nation. Coach, how much has Brooks meant to this team? Well, it, your, your clap coming up helps a lot when you're an All-American. You're a Team USA guy. You're a superstar. That does make the clap a little bit better as it goes. Um, but no, he, he's been awesome. And I, and I really thought that uh, you know, and you always are going to remember the home runs and the RBIs and things of that nature. They're a little more exciting. But I thought it was his, maybe his finest day receiving the baseball. Even pitches that weren't necessarily called strikes and, and great umpire behind the plate, but, like, he's catching them and they're appearing to be strikes, which is what great catchers do. Uh, and there's some really good catchers in this league uh, who do that. And, and obviously we think Brooks is as good as there is. That's why he was first team all, all conference uh, with a lot of tough challengers in there. So... Um, he's a heck of a player, and in the end, your best player's got to be your best players when you're in tournament time. Um, there's always going to be different people step up. There's going to be different moments, but uh, superstars have to be superstars. And uh, fortunately for, for us today, a lot of our guys did that. Coach, could you just speak to the significance of the win, not only today on a loser's bracket, but obviously RPI is so huge at this time of year. Yeah, I mean, it certainly is. Look, we just have to win. Uh, I mean... And I don't know what our players do, you know, when they're in the room or, you know, they're always on their phones and they may be checking that stuff. But the reality is for this week, it's about us. We seem to win games. 
Um, obviously, we did step one today. You know, we checked that one off. But don't sit there and play the computer game. Don't play the KPI, the ELO, the all these different things. They reward you if you win, right? We've done a lot of winning here, and, and, and but we need to do a lot more. Um, we don't know who we play next, but we'll prepare our, our butts off, both players, coaches, support staff, and we just need to keep stacking those because in the end, that, that's going to take care of itself. Logan, if you would, what was working? I mean, everything really today, you know, uh, I would say my fastball. Um, everyone likes to peek up at the board after you throw a fastball, and I think I threw the hardest I've thrown all year today. Yeah. A couple yeah. times, and so uh, that, that just builds adrenaline up, too, for yourself. You know, it gives you more confidence. You know, everything's working, and you just look up and you see numbers you hadn't seen before in your life, and so you're like, all right, well, this is my best stuff. I'm just going to ride it, and, you know, it just gave me the utmost confidence. One more, Coach. But obviously, um, Luke was going on short rest. Was the plan just to try to get as many innings out of him as, he, as you could today or just based on how he's pitched? Uh, the max he was going to go was four was the plan before. Um, the reality is he just he had two outs in both the innings and, and didn't execute. But you're going into uh, this tournament. You want to set the right tone. Luke's the right tone guy. Um, you know, we debated different things. And we might have to get real weird in this tournament. I mean, everybody has to and use an opener and do some different things. Um, and we'll figure that out as we go. That being said, if you're sitting there and you need the right vibe for the team, you need the guy that's an all-conference player, the guy that has a great plan, the guy that threw a CG against him last time, although we weren't expecting a CG, we wanted to go with him. And even, even though um, you know CJ got him a couple times because that's what superstars do, he gave a superstar effort like he tends to do against us a little more than I like, but um, Luke had really two pitches that were just non-quality. And sometimes you get got, and he got got on those. But uh, I thought his compete was excellent. And, and I'd be remiss. I talked to the team about this. I think the biggest play in the entire game was the Will Butcher play down the line. First off, it was as tough a play as you'll ever see, slamming into that wall. But it's 4 nothing. Quintero's up. He's grinding. He's a tough two-strike guy. Luke makes a quality pitch, a little 90-mile-hour fastball in, and no one thinks that ball's getting caught. Right, like I, you know, you, sometimes you've seen a ball and everyone's like, "Is this going to get caught?" Is this? No one thought it was going to get caught, and he makes a tremendous play to get us out of that inning to pass it on to Stu. Stu was good, but it kept the game at bay. You can't let that game get to six or seven. It's curtains. We kept it at four. Um, we told the team last year we were down five nothing against them, and so uh, because of that play, in my opinion, we were able to uh, do what we did and get that win.